Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 6.0 video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn that how we can update the database with the form. So obviously we are playing with the MySQL. So this is my database. Uh, so I will play with the company name. I will update some company name and address and IDO for and I will play around it. All right. So these are some key points of this video that we are going to cover in this uh, uh, session. So first of all, uh, we have to make an HTML form and route for it. After that, we have to make a controller and route for it. We need to make a model and with this model, we will uh, write the code for update the data and we will check the entries uh, in the database. All right. So now let's get start. Uh, so first of all, I need a form. So as you know that for the form, uh, I have to go inside the resource folder in the view folder and I'm going to make a new file here, which is company view company view dot blade dot php so all right and here i'm just going to write here some code for form and i'm not going to take the header html tag and body because it will take some time so i'm just trying to save the time so let's take a form here in the form action i'm just going to put here submit or you can put the update update is much better name all right so here I can put the method and method is obviously post okay and after that I need to take the two fields first of all uh, first is the let's check how many fields we have so we have the name and ID and address so I'm just going to take the uh, two field first of all and after that I will uh, update the update it uh, on the behalf of ID so name and address is here so I'm just going to take an input so the name of this input is uh, let's say name and I am just going to take some br tag here so that uh, every field have some on space all right so just copy and paste this and I'm just going to put here address and at the last just take here button and button you can just type here update just update is enough and let's say type and type is submit that's all uh, for a form so now let's check oh yeah uh, I need to put here CSRF token also for more detail you can watch our previous video link is given in the description box so now let's uh, uh, form is ready but uh, we didn't make a router for it for that i have to go inside the web.php which is present inside the routes folder and here i can simply just write here route and this is a view file just you can put a view and first parameter is a uh, form and uh, in the second parameter you can put the name of company uh, view all right blade.php which is not right this the part of this okay so you just have to write here company view here so just uh, let's try to open the form here so I think the uh, you all should be fine okay so now you can see that two fields are here and with the update button so whenever I'm just going to update it it will go on the update URL but there is a no update URL here okay so for that uh, here we will going to write the uh, logical part so that I am going to make a controller here so just write here php artisan make controller company and just hit the enter so company created is uh, controller is created and uh, you can find it inside the app http controller and uh, let's refresh it you can find it here company all right so let's make a function here and in the function name you can put like update or whatever you want okay so just write here uh, just echo here something so that we can write the code here so for now I'm just going to print R here and in the print R just write here dollar request which is coming from the uh, form and you can put the input it will it input it will show you the all output so first of all I'm just going to check the all outputs and in the update 
uh, we need a request we need the form data with the request type and this request type automatically generated when you create the form all right so this is ready for now and let's uh, refresh it and you can okay so let's go but uh, before that i have to make a router for this also so let's make a router for this and this the, the request is post and this is my router name and company at the rate update this is my uh, controller function path so now everything should be ready so let's try to update company name is Microsoft and uh, location is USA for now now you can see that we got the data here okay that we got the data that means how many steps we clear here we clear the two steps now we have to make a model okay so why we need the model why we need the controller and you i already make the video for everything which is take around five minutes if you want to watch then link is given in the description box okay so just make a model here php artisan make model and uh, model name is you can put here like uh, company oh, okay so i already take the company names as a controller so i can just replace the name of like cmp okay that's fine okay this model model is created so now where you can find it in the app you can find this url here okay so for the mapping of uh, table name i must have to put here table name which is uh, protected and protected dollar table and table name is like company okay and i need to make one more uh, property here which is public uh, this is a timestamp dollar timestamp and this should be the false okay so our controller is ready now so this is also done now let's start with the code of the update so first part of this is you must have to uh, this is uh, actually completed here so the first part of this is you must have to import your model inside your uh, controller so just write here use app and uh, inside the app you can just simply write here cmp okay and in the cmp you can just simply write here uh, cmp codes and uh, you can just simply write a command for now i'm just going to make a hard code value all right so that you can understand it for better so here i'm just going to put here a company and where condition and in the where condition i'm just going to put here id id let's say where id is uh, 4 i want to update the 4 number id which is skeleton i'm just going to make it go down to noida okay so the id is 4 okay and if the id is 4 then uh, we have to update it okay so just update uh, make update function uh, and pass an array inside it and you can just put, uh, simply put here address and the address should be like uh, uh, noida okay and put a semicolon at the last so it should be update i think so now let's uh, echo it and let's check if the output is one that means is this is updated if uh, the output is zero that means it's not going to update so now let's uh, refresh it okay so maybe there is some issue so let me check uh, okay so cmp table is not exist that means there is some some problem with the table okay i have to put a table okay so i just misspell it and let's try it once again okay there is some other issue also so i have to put here time stamps okay so let me check once more spells so that uh, they should be fine okay so these are also fine now you can see that we got a one here and let's see uh, Kelton is now 
in noida okay so there is a one way just we just put the hard code value and now i'm going to put here some dynamic values all right so i'm just going to put here echo where update id uh, i want to put here with the company name so let's say my company name is imb where address will be the india simply okay so this and i'm just going to take it from the request request dollar name okay so it should be the name if name is coming in this request as a name uh it should be address should be the india okay so now let's try it in the form i just want to check a form once more uh i must take a name field okay so this name field will strike your request uh arrow name so just uh, refresh it and uh, here i'm just going to put here imb which is coming from the file and it should be india okay so i just put it hard code but i just want to put here uh, dynamically so that this right here simply here and put here address so now let's refresh once and write here uh, i n b okay and put the name like uh, india and just try to hit it this is one so now uh, it should be from india let's check now you can see that this is from india this is also great thing okay so now let's learn one more thing there is a two way to update the things uh, which is the this is the update method there is a one more method with the save okay so how you can up, uh, use the save method for that you can just simply uh, for that you have to use the id okay but here we don't have the id so in the form i am injecting some ids here all right so how we can inject the ids so i am just going to take the select box name equal to id and this is not required for me and let's take some options i'm just going to take a uh, three options because uh, there is a long list so let's take only three options 1 2 and 3 okay so take option 1 and value is the id which is 1 and name is samsung copy it paste it and paste it and the value 2 for uh, uh google okay and 3 4 imb i m b okay so let's check the form now now you can see that there is a form okay so then uh, just add two br tag also so that it can be look uh, similar to the other okay okay so what i am going to do here when i just find the id from here how can i get the id so just uh, remove it uh for now and just write here cmp equal to new new company okay and here you can just simply put here find and in this find this right here dollar r e q and write here id how this id is come uh, will come here it will come uh, simply from this name okay so let's see uh, it is sh showing some error let me check what error is that uh, i think i don't need to take a uh, new here yeah i don't need to take it new so and simply you can uh, take here dollar cmp uh equal to cmp is name will come from dollar request name okay and just copy this line and just simply paste here and uh, write here address address will be come uh, update from the requested address and uh at the last just write here dollar cmp with the save method 
so it should work yeah, just try simply like this it should work so now let's try if we just find some error then we will uh, resolve it but uh, hopefully it should be work fine so on the one I'm I will just update with the uh, company uh, mind tree and the address should be uh, let's say India as same so ID Samsung from selected here mine tree and India so let's try to update it okay uh, so we just got some okay because my uh, component uh, model name is CMP so I have to save it update it and let's uh, try once more Samsung mine tree India now you can see that uh, the, I think this is updated now let's check here now you can see that one ID is going to the mine tree and in India okay so this is the second way that how you can update simply so if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, uh, if you have any kind of uh, comment then you can put me put it on the comment box give me some nice use solutions and suggestions for the video also so uh, and don't forget to subscribe my channel because i'm just going to make around uh, uh, 50 to 60 video on the laravel and uh, one more thing if you want to watch my hindi uh, laravel videos in hindi then uh, you can also watch and you can find the videos on my channel thanks for watching this video